Hi, I'm Pedro from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at the time or range of hand grinders. From the entry level at home grinder to the travel grinder and professional versions. The Timor C2. Now these are the entry level of the Timor range of hand grinders and really come in three different variants and multiple colors. So they come as the Timor C2, the C2 Max, which is exactly the same, just a bit bigger. So that goes from holding 25 grams to 30 grams if you're talking about the lighter roast of coffee and the C2 Titanium. So with the C2 bar the Titanium run 38 mil conical hardened steel blades. Now looking inside, they're predominantly aluminium body, but you do have slight plastic internals, mainly on the cosmetic, the lid and the internal here. The actual shaft is still stainless with the stainless blades. And on the newer models now, they do come with a dial plate in metal. The original ones were in plastic and they've since upgraded that. You've got 12 notches, so they are a step grinder of adjustment. And to adjust these, you do need to have the handle in and you always bring them down to zero. So we've actually already set this one down at zero, which is on the finer setting. And now you would bring it back one dial at a time, eight dials for espresso, 15 for pour over, and 24 for French press. On the titanium version, they do grind a bit quicker and you can probably just dial it in a little bit finer, but generally eight, 15, and 24 is a good frame of reference. Once you dial them back, you can use, one cool thing is they actually do sit on the counter without the bottom canister in. You can use a bottom canister to feed in the coffee if you are using a scale to weigh it in. From there, you can pour it into the top, bring in the handle and start grinding. Lock it back in. One cool thing is with the stainless sharp and the bearing, it is very neat and it does really work really and flow really well compared to some other grinders where it's really clumpy to move them around. The body also, the thread is quite nice and it locks in really well. And if you did want to clean it, you can pull the bases out, which are again on another thread. The difference between the black version, which really isn't black, and the white is the outside texture. With the black version, they are a lot nicer to grip. But in saying that, the white is still a matte finish and both of them grip really well and aren't slippy at all. With the Max version, it's exactly the same, but taller. So these have just taken the C2 and effectively can come taller, moving it from a 25 to 30 gram capacity. Really good if you are doing the filter coffee at home, especially if you're doing a two cup filter. With the Titanium version, that's where things have changed slightly. Not only in color, but the blades are now titanium coated as you can see in the yellow through there. Now what that means is it is a little bit better for espresso and it also grinds slightly quicker with a little bit more ease with the blades just cutting through the beans a little bit easier. So if you are looking at espresso, the titanium is the way to go. Although they can be used for espresso on the normal C2 and C2 Max. The Timor Nano S and Slim Plus is a mid-level of their range and the beginning of their premium side. The difference between the two is on the blades and the body. One thing in common between both of them is the full metal construction. So no plastic, completely sturdy and very easy to fold down and travel with. So with this one, you've got the arm that just opens up and locks away with a little bit of rubber there so you're not gonna scratch the body and a removable handle that just magnetizes back in. Kind of feels like you're playing with a pocket knife. There's something therapeutic to playing with these. Inside, with the Nano S, it's got the titanium blade. Now, one of the things is Time will make all their blades. And that's the difference to other manufacturers where they bring in blades from generic companies. In the case of the Slim Plus, they've gone with the EMB pattern on the blades and they come with a stainless blade but you can upgrade it to the titanium. Now, if you're doing a lot of espresso, the titanium EMB is the way to go. But both of these will do espresso, it's just at the level you wanna be at. Being a travel grinder, these are perfect for, let's say your Wakako or your Aeropress, 
Delta Press, these kind of travel units. And I just can't get over how well they kind of finish feel and you can play with them. Another thing to note, just like the C2, when you do remove the bases, they do sit flat on a counter, which makes it really convenient when you're weighing in coffee. When you travel, you don't always have a scale with you, but if you were to have a scale or you were preparing, it makes it really easy to weigh in coffee, pour in, close it off, lock it all up, and off you go. You don't have to fiddle around trying to get it to sit, especially if you're in a more awkward environment. I just like playing with these. I know that it's not all about that, but they do have a really nice feel. With the Slim Plus, the same diameter, but these do the EMB blades, which is really neat finish and really adjust really well. They come with the stainless EMB blades, which the difference is here on the shaft, the way they rip the bean before they cut it, and you can upgrade them to the titanium, which makes it a lot better when you're running espresso. While traveling, you can remove the handles, which are the same height as a unit and throw them into a bag, whether you get an elastic band to hold it together or just throw them into two separate pieces. Very small in stature and very compact. Personally, I prefer the Nano S because the handle does fold down, but the size of the Slim Plus does work a little bit better, especially when you're doing filter coffee. Now, the hero of the time or range is a Chestnut X. And the first thing that came to my head when I first got it and unboxed it was Apple. They've spent a lot of time really working on this grinder. They really wanted to come to the world and say, we've arrived, we're here. From the blades which are patented, the S2C, to the aeronautical engineering preciseness of the body, full metal construction, to 120 dial in position, so 24 outer with a further five internal. They looked for Swiss watches for inspiration and they've really nailed it. A lot of other hand grinders, it's kind of hard to dial in because they're all stepped. Although this is still a stepped, the steps are so small that it's almost an infinite grind. It's hard to explain on camera just how well it feels. Anything from the, the grind canister that's coming in, locking into place, the way the handle feels, and most importantly, the smoothness of it when it grinds. There's something about this that just screams class, and Time will have put their logo there as a badge of honor. It's the only one in their range that they've just put their logo and gone, we're here. Thank you for watching our look at the Time or Grinder range. If you've liked this video, please hit the subscribe button. It helps us grow and build even better content. Thank you.